Okay, the news today. It's confirmation time. Our high school kids. This is a great day. Confirmation is a great experience. It's wonderful to be with our young people. This is what we live for. It's a wonderful day for this local church because our young people are saying, I live this life as a fascinating adventure in the Holy Spirit. Confirmation is the completion of what we started for our young people at their baptism. When you're baptized, you receive the gifts, but then as confirmation, you then accept them on your own. You stand and you say, I know what these gifts are, I know why these gifts are, and I say yes. It is often thought of as the graduation, but it's really um, the beginning, the commencement. We get all mixed up. We say, confirmation, I'm finished. I'm finished with religious ed. I'm finished with spirituality. I'm finished wrong, big wrong. Confirmation, initiation means beginning. Do you believe? Do you believe in Jesus? Do you believe in the, uh, the Holy Spirit, the church, the resurrection, the communion of saints, the I do's of the church, you see? From our baptism, we were never just an I, we are a we. And we are we, 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 all the way home till we go to the cemetery, you see? This particular group, they're very introspective. They're very thoughtful. These children are really amazing. In a time where faith is being challenged in every corner, where it is certainly not hip or necessarily popular to, to have faith, it's, it takes a lot of courage. These young people, you know, they are not tomorrow's church. They are, they are today's church. And I have been able to watch them grow and see them mature um, as people, but also in their faith. And it helps to enliven my faith life. I feel lavishly spoiled by the opportunity. Have these candidates been formed and instructed? Father Harrahan, we feel they are ready for confirmation. Are the future of our parish community, they're the future of our church, they're the future of the world. Well, I'm just so happy that um, I get to be a little part of that. There is no greater gift than to propel our young people into the future with the power of their faith. It's a fascinating adventure. For you have made all things, O Lord, the heaven and the earth, and all that is held within the circle of heaven. You are the Lord of all. Let us praise God singing from your online worship aid, all creatures of our God and King.
In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace and peace of God our Father and our Lord Jesus Christ be always with you. And with, with your, your spirit. spirit. Good day, everyone. Good day, Father. It's wonderful to be here as the Holy Spirit summons us to this holy moment. We come here to celebrate God's action so that our faith might be increased. God has planted the vineyard of his kingdom among us and calls each one of us to bear fruit. We now open ourselves to God's presence and resolve to be faithful to God's call. Lord Jesus, you are the Lord of the harvest. Lord, have mercy. Lord, Lord have, have mercy. mercy. Christ Jesus, you entrust your kingdom to us. Christ, have mercy. Christ, Christ have, have mercy. mercy. Lord Jesus, you call us to produce abundant fruit. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have Lord, mercy. mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring each one of us to life everlasting. Amen. Amen. Almighty ever-living God, who in the abundance of your kindness surpass the merits and the desires of those who entreat you, pour out your mercy on us to pardon what conscience dreads and to give what prayer does not dare to ask, through Christ our Lord. Amen. We invite our children now to take your devices and to go online for the Liturgy of the Word with children. Please go now in peace listen to the words of Jesus and seek to become closer to God and more like Jesus himself. Go in peace now and we look forward to your return. Let me now sing with my friend, my friend's song concerning 
planted the choices beyond. Within it, he built a watchtower and hewed out a wine press. Then, he looked for the crop of grapes, but what it yielded was wild grapes. Now, inhabitants of Jerusalem and people of Judah, judge between me and my vineyard. What more was there to do for my vineyard that I had not done? Why, when I looked for the crop of grapes, did it bring forth wild grapes? Now, Think about these things. 
will be with you. The word of the Lord. Thank you. 
back of the room, an old man came. He looked at the dusty old violin with the scratches and dents and marks, and he tuned the strings and he started to play. When he finished, the bidding resumed. And now it started. One thousand dollars, two thousand dollars, three thousand dollars. What happened in the course of those few moments? A thousand dollars, and who made it two? Two thousand, and then who made it three? Three thousand once, three thousand twice, and going and non said he. The people cheered, but some of them cried. We do not quite understand. What changed its worth? Swift came to reply, the touch of the master's hand. And many a man, with his life out of turn, and battered and scarred with sin, is auction cheap to a thoughtless crowd, much like the old violin. A mess of pottage, a mess of wine, a game and he travels on. He is going once and going twice. He is going and almost gone. But the master comes, and the foolish crowd never can quite understand the worth of a soul and the change that's wrong by the touch of the master's hand. The touch of the master's hand can produce fruit. The touch of the master's hand can be the cornerstone in a broken life, in an empty soul, in a suffering senior, in someone left alone. Worth more than they appear by the touch of the master's hand, the thoughtless crowd, thoughtless crowd of the unseen, the eye of the eyes of God always notice. The stone that the builders rejected has become the cornerstone. God always seems to turn things upside down. And when the cornerstone becomes itself, we know that God has been there. I believe in one God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all things visible and invisible. I believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, born of the Father before all ages, God from God, life from life, true God from true God, begotten of the Father, not substantial with the Father, for the name of all ages of the name, for us and then for our salvation, he came down from heaven. And by the Holy Spirit, who is a part of the Virgin Mary, and he came in. For our sins, he was crucified in the last hour. He suffered that and was buried, and rose again on the third day, in accordance with the scriptures. He has ascended to heaven, and is seated at the right hand of God. He will come again in the glory of the church, and will again, and he is the king of heaven and all. I believe in the Holy Spirit.
is the vineyard and its harvest. Bless the work entrusted to our hands that we may offer you an abundance of good works, a rich harvest of peace through Christ our Lord. Amen. And as our gifts are presented and prepared this morning, we sing from your online worship aid, Lord, whose love in humble service.
It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere, to give you thanks, Father, most holy, to your beloved Son, Jesus Christ, your word through whom you made all things, whom you sent as our Savior and Redeemer, incarnate by the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin Mary. Fulfilling your will and gaining for you a holy people, he stretched out his hands as he endured his passion, so as to break the bonds of death and manifest the resurrection. And so with the angels and saints we declare your glory, as with one voice we acclaim.
always free from sin, and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to the apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but look upon the faith of your church. Graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. May the peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. And with some gesture of reverence, we offer a sign of Christ's peace. And as we come to the table of the Lord this morning, we sing once again from your online worship aid, Hosea.
Let us pray. Grant us, Almighty God, that we may be refreshed and nourished by the sacrament we have received, so as to be transformed into what we consume through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Today, as we honor St. Francis with a bit of a St. Francis festival here at St. Rose, we invite everyone to come at 11.15 this morning and bring your, church, your pets to church for a blessing. St. Francis was fond of all of creation, especially the animals, so please bring your pets, any kind of a pet here, for a blessing at 11.15. There'll be an art exhibition, a landscape art exhibition of parishioner Ted Barkhorn, and there'll be some activities for children as well, so please come and spend some time here with us celebrating the life and the, the ministry of St. Francis of Assisi. Bow your heads now and pray for God's blessing. Graciously enlighten your family, Lord, we pray, that by holding fast to what is pleasing to you, they may be worthy to accomplish all that is good through Christ our Lord. Amen. And may the blessing and the peace of God be always in your hearts, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. This Mass is ended. Let us go in the peace of Christ. Thanks be to God. Have a blessed day, everyone. Thank you for joining us. And we go forth singing from your online worship aid, God whose purpose is to kindle. <laughs>